All right, so this is going to be my Washington Commanders taking on New York Giants preview. But before I get into that, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for the first time if you're watching this. Um, so, uh, supporting my channel would be the greatest because we do live streams and do post-game analysis, pre-game analysis for Washington Commanders content, Real Madrid content. We also cover, cover some other sports like uh, baseball, MLB. The playoffs are starting soon with the Dodgers. Um... We're starting up hockey, other NFL games, so make sure you guys sub to my channel so that way you guys don't miss any more of these live streams or videos. So let's talk about this Commanders game. Um, it's against the New York Giants. Uh, they they got to win this game. They, they just have to. Um, you know, if Washington goes 0-2 in the Dan Quinn era... Uh, it, I just don't want to. I don't want to know what the the fan base is gonna say. Uh, you know, last week uh, the defense just honestly that that defense looked like Ron Rivera and and Jack Del Rio were coaching it. Honestly, like I, I feel like this was just so stupid the way that this defense was run. Uh, so Dan Quinn got to do better. Um, but let's get to the keys to the game real quick. Um, obviously, starting with the offense, uh, offensively quarterback. Uh, Jaden Daniels, uh, I look, I don't mind him scrambling, but don't scramble too much. Don't use his legs. Use his arm more. Um, he needs to use his arm more because, you know, with Tua this past Thursday getting hurt, which, you know, a waste of $53 million, uh, because he's probably, probably needs to retire. You know, he needs to learn to protect himself. You know, don't have him lose the helmet either. Don't lose his helmet because, again, injuries. Don't have him scramble too much. Uh, I know that that is his is his, lethal, his lethal weapon, but use his arm more. Uh, get targets to Terry McLaurin, Deami Brown, whoever, um, Luke McCaffrey, whoever, whoever, Zach Ertz. Feed them more. Um, feed Austin Eckler. Run the, run the ball. I know that the run defense for Tampa was, was tough. The Giants, you know, with Kayvon Thibodeau and Brian Burns, you know, it's just, it's going to be tough, but we'll see. Um, again, like I said, off, that's that's the offensive keys. Uh, offensive line, just got to step up. Uh, I mean, you protect Jaden Daniels with Brian Burns and Kayvon Thibodeau, you know, looking to feast. Uh, the offensive line was okay-ish last week, I guess. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is there. Um, defense. Got to get to Daniel Jones. Got to force Daniel Jones to make turnovers. I know Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones owns Washington. He, I think, only has two losses um, against Washington. So, but if Daniel Jones, because Daniel Jones struggled last week against Minnesota and, and Sam Darnold. So, got to force turnovers. Got to make Daniel Jones fumble. Got to force Daniel Jones to make, uh, throw interceptions. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, sack Daniel Jones. Don't let Daniel Jones scramble. Daniel Jones has a, also a habit of, you know, going and running for 50-plus yards in a game against Washington. Uh, that Thursday night matchup where he rushed for 100 yards, that was inexcusable. Uh, the defense got to contain Daniel Jones. Force him to make turnovers. Make him uncomfortable. Um, special teams... Uh, again, they let go of Cade York, brought in Austin Seibert, I guess. It, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, it's a kicker that we can repent, uh, depend on. Um, you know, Cade York missing two field goals, you know, set the tone last week. We'll see how Austin Seibert does this week. Hopefully, it's better off. Um, the, uh, secondary, back to the defense, circling back to the defense. Eric Forbes, who is trash, got... You know, hurt, has thumb injury, had surgery. He's out. So let's see what Noah I, uh, Michael Davis, um, you know, Benjamin St. Juice, the rest of the guys can do. If this secondary can play better, we'll have to wait and see. Um, special teams, no, you know, kickoff returns, no no turnovers. Uh, you know, force turnovers. Don't, lo you know, don't lose the football. Don't fumble it. Uh, coaching, Dan Quinn, uh, be smart. Uh, you know, like I said, again, I wasn't too mad with the play calling last week. It's just, you know, got to, you know, make sure that you don't, uh, put, um, uh, the, the quarterback in, 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 uh, in a bad situation right now. 
uh, because like I said, Tua is probably going to, you know, probably going to have to retire at some point, you know, we'll wait and see, um, you know, feed Terry McClure, feed your weapons, uh, coach your defense better, um, so the defensive coordinator, Joe Witt, uh, you know, Dan Quinn is calling the plays, but we'll see, or no, Joe Witt's calling the plays, so let's see Joe, what Joe Witt can do for week two, uh, Cliff Kingsbury, gotta coach better, gotta do better, so, you know, that's, that's also a key, uh, so, hope, home opener, hopefully it goes better tomorrow, um, although, I don't think so, I think Washington, and this may be an unpopular opinion, Washington's going to lose this game. They're going to go 0-2, and it's going to be pandemonium. Um, I'm going to give it the final score of New York Giants 27, Washington 20. Let me know what y'all think of my uh, pregame. Put your predictions down below. What are other keys that you guys are looking for to put in the comments down below? Until then, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.